Hello YouTube. Today is October 1st, 2020. It's just after noon, and I'm going to show you how to create a Manjaro 20 KDE Virtual Machine and Workstation Pro. So we'll open our software and we'll tell it we're going to create a new virtual machine. This will be custom. We'll accept the defaults. We'll tell it that we're going to install the operating system later. We'll tell it that it's a Linux 5.x kernel 64-bit. The next name in the list is Razor. We'll give it one vCPU, two gigs of RAM, and I want to use bridge networking. Accept the defaults here, 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 and we'll give it 60 gigabytes of space. Let it create the VMDK, and we'll finish. Okay, we'll open our library. We'll look for it over here. If we don't see it, that's okay. We'll open a virtual machine. We'll go to VM share. We'll look for Razor, and we'll open the VMX file. You'll see it populate over here. First thing we're going to do is edit our virtual machine settings and make a few quick adjustments straight away. So the first thing we need to do is tell it where our ISO file is. It's on my media share one right here. Um, the next thing I want to do is tell it the size of my display. It'll keep nagging me that it's on a, in a brick location, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to specify the monitor settings at 1920 by 1080. Our options. We'll look at power. I want to go into full screen straight after power on. I want to enable my shared folder so I can get to some media that's on my array. I know it's on the network. We'll finish. Okay. Uh, VMware tools synchronize our time with the guest and update automatically, and we're okay. You know it's on a share. All right, so our containers created our options for hardware set up. We're going to power on. Okay, just press enter there. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and launch the installer. Get this out of our way, and we'll just walk through the wizard. So it knows I'm in Phoenix. Set the defaults there and there. I'm going to tell it this is the drive we're going to use, and we're going to erase the disk. I do a swap. I'll do a swap with Hibernate. We'll go ahead and encrypt the system. We'll give it a decryption password. You don't have to enter this every time the system comes up. But that's a small price to pay for a little bit of security. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the same password for the administrator account, although I do recommend against doing this for a production system. I like LibreOffice. We'll use it and we'll go ahead and install. Now this will take a few minutes. I'll just go ahead and fast forward through it and I'll see you toward the end. Okay, our installation is finished. We're going to tell it to restart. Done. 
while this is happening, we're going to hit uh, Control and Alt. We're going to go up and disconnect the CB drive from that system. We'll click in the window and put in our passphrase that we set up. This will take a minute or two. Okay, we'll put in our password. Okay, the system is up. We'll get these little things out of our way. Let's scoot this up a little bit so I can tell it. I don't want it to start. Close it. Now, you'll see your display is not set up properly. We'll fix that straight away. So open up the terminal, and the first thing we're going to do is edit our Etsy default grub file. We're going to search for the word auto. We're going to hit CW to change word. Get a 32 bit color. We'll write and quit. And we'll update grub. And we'll reboot the system to get our full size display. And so here we are with a full-size display. Now that the system is up, we'll see that we've got some updates to apply. So we'll go ahead and click that notification, and we'll let it do its updates. It's okay, we'll accept that. Well, this is going to take a few minutes, so we'll be back after it's finished. All right, so the system is now up to date. We're finished. We'll go ahead and give it a restart. And there you have it. We have a new uh, Manjaro 20 KDE system installed in just under 20 minutes. Do whatever you want with it. Thanks for watching.